Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys um, the mouse care that you need in order to care for um, a mouse. So really quick disclaimer, I believe I also said this in my Be a Dragon Care video, that this, does, this video is not being put out there for you to decide that you all of a sudden want a mouse because you think it's easy or that you can handle caring for a mouse. This video is out there for anybody who has mice that, you know, just wants to give them better care or is already interested in mice and just actually wants to know how to care for them. So that being said, just don't watch this video and say like, oh, I want a mouse, tell them you'll get one. And even if that is the case, even if this video did make you want to get a mouse, please do more research to care for mice. So before we get into the actual care that you need for mice, I'm just going to give you guys some basic facts or like fun facts just before we actually talk about what we need to care for mice. So the first thing is that mice actually do have hair on their tails whereas rats don't which brings me on to another point that rats and mice are different pets so don't watch this mice expecting how to care for rats because they are very very different rats are larger and way more personable I guess you can say so mice actually come in many 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 different uh, fur types so a lot of people just think it's only the standard field mouse or standard lab mouse which is not true mice come in a lot of different uh colors so there's like rex satin uh different <laughs> there's just a lot also mice use their whiskers in order to detect um change in temperature and like their surroundings and stuff so that's why you always see like a mouse using their whiskers if they're like on the edge or something so that they know not to cross all right, so actually getting to the care, mice can live anywhere from one to two years being typical. Usually one to one and a half is more common. So if you are someone who doesn't really want a long commitment but still want a really fun pet, a mouse may be good for you because they don't have the longest lifespan and they're also not the hardest pet to take care of. In the wild, mice are naturally herbivores, but when we breed them, to be kept as pets, we feed them things like lab blocks and seed mixes. So, personally, I think the best thing to feed your mice is the Missouri Rat and Mouse Diet, which is, a, I, believe, I believe, a vegetarian formula that is approved by veterinarians, and it's a really, really good food. It is kind of pricey, but uh, it lasts pretty long. And there are also, again, like I said, uh, seed mixes that you can feed to your mice. However, I don't really tend to use seed mixes. Maybe every here and there I'll get some. But my mice seem to just like the Missouri uh, pellets. But I also do give them things like vegetables, fruits, and uh, seeds. But I would definitely not give too many seeds or fruits as those can be fattening and really sugary for them. But things more like vegetables and their Missouri pellets. Definitely stay away from food brands such as KT. Um, Fiesta, I think, is another one. Wild Harvest. Uh, all those really, really mainstream brands. Most of their foods are really, really bad and have horrible nutrition value. So, I don't think you should be feeding your mice that, but I can recommend the Missouri Rat and Mouse Pellets as a staple. As far as seed mixes go, you can go on mouth forms to get more information about that. So, now on to housing. For the most part, mice are social creatures. However, you do not want to house more than one male together because males are more solitary than females. So the rule of thumb is one male or two or more females. People think that like the general or accepted amount of space for mice is 110 gallon for one mouse, one male mouse or two females. But I think a 10 gallon is way, way, way too small for mice and it's just it's extremely small if you own mice you know how active they are they like love space they love to climb they love to get into things and like levels and things like that and a 10 gallon you're just not gonna get that even if you get one of those like tank topper things those can be okay but honestly I would just recommend personally at least a 20 gallon for one male or two females what I use is the 110 quart uh, clear view sterilite bin from um, Target, but I'm pretty sure you can buy it other places. Not that expensive, and you can turn it into a bin cage. Really simple, which if you haven't seen my uh, previous video, I will leave a card to it, but that is a video where I showed you kind of how to make a bin cage with a nice sliding door. So do not use really marketed cages that are like all color and tubes, such as Critter Trails, or um, I think Petco carries like a small animal cage. 
Usually these cages are horrible and they're really overpriced for what they are. So you can get a bin cage for or a bin for anywhere from 10 to 15, even to maybe $20, and have a massive cage for your animal for less than half the price it would be to pay for one little tiny critter trail. So you can make your cages out of wood, or you can really get creative with it, wood, mesh, but regardless of whatever cage you make or choose, make sure that it has a good amount of floor space and height, um, because rats, rats. Mice do like a lot of floor space and height, so they like to climb up, and they like to um, sleep pretty high as well sometimes, some mice do, but um, they also like a lot of floor space because they like to run around and dig. Which brings me to the next point of bedding. So same with like pretty much all small animals. Stay away from any softwood like pine, uh, cedar, and I feel like there's one more. But you guys should know like all those toxic beddings, stay away from those, do not use those for your animals. The one I can recommend is aspen, although um, some mice, just like any other small animal can be allergic to aspen so the safest 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 way to go is with any paper-based bedding so this can be carefresh kt clean and cozy there's this other brand uh what is it quitter care so these are all like paper-based bedding just make sure make sure they're not scented so as far as enrichment and toys goes mice love like i said to climb and get around and get into little things so they love things like hammocks, kebabs, uh, deep bedding. So give them at least a couple inches of bedding. They really love deep bedding. Um, what else? They just love anything that hangs that they can climb on, like bridges, bendy bridges, things like that. That gives them a lot of enrichment and things to do, as well as a wheel. So my mice do have a saucer and a wheel. They do not use it as of now. Um, they've had a saucer for a while, but I just recently gave them a wheel, so I'm still gonna give them some time to maybe warm up to that. But for now, I'm just gonna let you guys know, not all mice like to use wheels or saucers, but that is just um, something that can provide extra enrichment for your mice. So just, of course, like any other small animal, make sure you provide a lot of chews because mice, their teeth grow really, really fast. So yeah, like I said, they like hand things like hammocks, um, levels too, like they like different levels to climb on as well and tubes of course so the last couple things are make sure you give them some hides so this can be anything simple from a plain cardboard box to those little igloos that everybody has mice will really hide in anything that they can feel secure in so just provide them a few hides so that they can have somewhere to go if they want to feel really secluded and secure so of course like while speaking about food make sure you just give them fresh water at least every few days uh, typically don't wait for it to run out so just give them like fresh water and make sure that whatever cage you choose or make has well well ventilation because mice produce a lot of urine and it does smell um, I believe males are smellier than females however females can get a bad odor if you don't keep their cage up to uh, par but that's not to say that they are stinky animals like they don't stink almost at all as long as you clean them regularly when they need to be cleaned and if you don't things can build up in the cage such as ammonia and that's going to give off a really strong and nasty odor which you do not want so just make sure you keep the cage clean and i just realized this is a mouse video and i didn't even show one of my mice but here is my mouse poppy um yes she has a tumor for anybody who's wondering and yes, she did go to the vet. Her sister is in the her, their cage, but she is um, skittish, so I'm just holding Poppy for now. Alright guys, so I think I covered everything that I needed to cover um, as far as mouse care goes. I think you can get more really, really specific in certain areas. But for like anybody who's new to mice or curious about any of the basic care that they need, I think this video will be a perfect guide to getting you started with all the things that you need to know before you take your first mouse home. Anyway, that being said, I hope this video uh, informed a lot of people and that it helped, maybe helped you guys understand a bit more about mice. So until my next video, or if you have any questions, leave them down below. But I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching.